Hello YouTube, Mr. Beam is here with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a center line symbol with the option of uh, visible text. Um, so in this real project, um, we have a center line of a beam. So in this family, which is a generic annotations, you have the option for the text visibility so you can switch it on and switch it off and you have an option to choose the text for this case is actually a beam because this line is actually a center line of a beam so for a start we go into the file and opening a new family on the family templates, let's choose the English folder and on the annotations, let's go for a metric generic annotation. The reason that we are choosing the annotation is because we want to always have the same print size for that center line. So it should be independent from the, the scale. So it should be an annotation so what I need to do is selecting the text and we have to modify this one so for this project I need to have the text with the size of 2.5 so I'm duplicating this type and changing to a 2.5 for the width factor I'm going with the 0.8 the text size should be 2.5 i'm going just to click on ok so we need a c a capital c and a capital l but the l should be italic so we can double click on that one Select all the L and click on the italic. The C also is italic. So I need to have a C here and L here. But the problem is L just obscuring the C. So we have to change some of the other options. On the edit type, we have to choose the background as transparent. So I'm just using the arrows to nudge it a little bit up. Let's save this symbol as, for example, Mr. Beam. CL which is center line. And I'm going to have just one backup. After saving that one, I'm going to load into the project. So this one is actually the center line of a column. So now we have to add option for a text and the visibility of that text. So I'm going to click on that symbol and I'm going to the edit family. So we need to add a label. So on the create tab, click on the label and you can click anywhere. So what we are going to add is so we have to create a, a parameter for that text. So I'm going to choose it as an instance so we can change it uh, from instance to instance. Its type parameter is text and we are going to set the group parameter as a text. So let's say the name of this parameter is text.
going to add the parameter the sample value we can have for example beam I'm going to click OK so the size of this label is too big so I'm going to reduce it to 2.5 I'm clicking on the edit type duplicating that one let's say name it 2.5 the width factor is 0 0.8 and the text size is 2.5 I'm going to set the horizontal align to the left and I'm going to place it somewhere here so now we have the text but we have to add a parameter to switch it on and off so if you click on that label you will find the option for visible if you click on this associate family parameter we can set a new parameter which is yes and no for visibility i will keep it as an instance i will name it as text visibility i will group the parameter under graphics clicking OK clicking OK so let's save this family um, yes and let's load it again to the project I'm going to override the existing version so now if I click on this family we have it with text visibility and we have a text option so on the text option, because this one is actually a center line of a column, I will type it as a call. So it just seems that we need to fix it. So something is not correct. I'm guessing that so this text actually in this project is 1.8. So 2.5 is not correct. So I'm going to edit it again. edit type I'm going to duplicate it 1.8 millimeter and text size for 1.8 now this right let's load it into project I'm going to save it and override perfect so I'm going to use this one also here because this one is the center line of a uh, beam and I have to change this one to beam you can tidy up the whole dimensions later and for example this line is actually the center line of the walls I'm going to call it wall perfect you can also edit this family and having and calling this label actually like um, the right label and having another label here to call it the left label because sometimes we may choose to use the right one we may want to choose the, the left one this is the end of this video thank you so much for watching